feet, everybody. Uh, and it's been a reconciliation with uh, Microsoft. I've uh, decided to do my entire presentation today using a Microsoft product. Uh, I've got it down here. There we are. Okay, Excel. Right. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to show you. I'm going to make you believe that uh, time is money. Okay, and time really is money when you have an application server. Okay, this is a really interesting graph. It's um, based on something called queuing theory, which is all about uh, it's all about shopping carts and queues and stations and all this sort of stuff. But it also applies equally well to servers, including your cold fusion or other um, web application server. Okay, and uh, this is a very interesting graph. I'm going to step away from the microphone because I like to gesture. Okay, right. <laughs> okay, right. This is really important, okay? How many people, you know, you, you, do, you do cold fusion, you find out how long your request takes, okay? How long does your request take? Any, anyone, typically, what's a request take in cold fusion? Too long? Too long? Well, I don't know, right? You know, I'll, I'll, okay, I'll give you a typical bloody hell, 250 milliseconds or 200 milliseconds or something like that, okay? Somewhere up here. 10 milliseconds, okay, well, that, yeah, I'll talk to you later, my friend. Um, okay, look, it's really important, okay? A lot of the sites I see, they come in around here, okay? This blue line, okay, this blue line here means, um, that means that 99... Is that a thin blue line? That is a thin blue line, that's right. It's life and death, okay? This is the difference between having to buy another server or not, okay? And, uh, you know, and paying the license for that other server as well as the hardware and all that sort of stuff. You uh, yeah, yeah, we buy licenses. <laughs> <laughs> I feel a bit lonely, so okay, now, here we go. So, um, <laughs> so, okay, up, going up here, number of milliseconds, processing time. Going across here, number of concurrent user sessions your server is likely to be able to process, okay? Really important. If you're 250 milliseconds, then statistically, you're only, this is 99, this is the 99% line, okay? 99% of your requests are going to be serviced in less than two seconds at this point. So, where are we up to? Just over one minute, good. Okay, look, you've got 250 milliseconds, you're gonna have about 20 concurrent user sessions before you start missing your mark. 20, you've got your whole server, 20 users, okay, if that's your average request time. Okay, bring your average request time to something reasonable. Oh! oh. Yeah, uh, Excel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bring your request time to something reasonable, like maybe 50 milliseconds, you're up to 260. Okay, and then look, every millisecond you shave off after 50 milliseconds, you're talking about tens or twenty, you know, tons of extra users you'll get when you get your request times low. And so if you do caching or you just go and retrofit caching or something onto your existing site to make it fast, you're going to save yourself buying a whole lot of extra servers. Um, I've just suddenly thought Adobe won't thank me for that thought. But, um, <laughs> okay, but, but look, it's really important. Show us your okay? pie charts. Yeah, oh, I don't have a pie chart. I'm, I'm a wave man, right? Okay, so thank you very much. Speed costs money. Yeah.